Welcome to our channel. Our names are Laura and Jonas and we live on the island Saarema, which is a beautiful island in the Baltic Sea and is part of Estonia. This is one of our favorite places where we go quite often. It's called Sutu Beach and it has this magnificent reed island. Reed is an abundant resource here on the island and we are currently using it to build up the walls of our cabin. To recap what has happened so far, in springtime we started by raising our first beams of our cabin. Jonas worked on the wood structure, which had the challenges, because we mainly worked with round wood timber from our land. His dad helped out with the roof. Early summer, the roof from underline plates was installed. Afterwards, there was a long building pause, and we picked up the work again at the end of the summer. In our previous vlog, we started raising the reed bale walls, and that's where we will pick this video up. We slowly stacked and hammered and secured the 200 bales we had bought for the walls. I also prepared for autumn to arrive by making hoops out of bendable water piping. These will later cover some of our garden beds and hopefully protect some of the produce so we can use it for a longer time and get an early start next spring. Autumn really started to set in in September, giving us some beautiful mystical foggy mornings. We were preparing to go to Belgium for 10 days, visiting our friends and family. It was a long journey and I was surprised to see the garden which we had previously inhabited and I had set up with a friend years ago. It felt like going back in time as the after summer vibes in the garden were still present. My mom and dad had kept the garden in good shape and now it's really looking like a mature garden. Coming back home, we brought with us our window frames for the cabin. 
which a family member of Jonas, who is a carpenter on pension, had happily crafted for us. When we were away, my garden already experienced its first unexpected night frosts in mid-September. All of my plants died, and the cleaning process is always a little bit painful. But with dreams of many summers ahead, I made room for future plantings. I planted asparagus plants in one of the empty hugel culture beds. It takes three to four years before you can start harvesting them if you grow them from seed. And as always, I'm digging out the pond in front of the cabin. There were some huge and heavy stones that sat in the way. During the course of weeks, I collected the necessary material for covering the outside layer of the cabin with earth plaster. And all that material came from this hole. The work on the walls continued. After we had a pause in September, our energy and motivation had recharged and now we felt like we're in a building flow, thoroughly enjoying the process and seeing things change every day. We ordered double glazed glass from a local company, which we had to transport with our own car, which was a bit scary, but luckily everything went smooth. Jonas finished the foundation for our water storage. We're planning to have 2,000 liter tanks here that we can refill when necessary from our well. September brought us cold evenings and the first fires warmed up the tiny cabin where we live in now. I worked on a little commission that came my way designing some interesting creatures to celebrate the coming of a little baby girl.
Then it was time to trim our wild looking reed bale walls. We rented this hedge trimmer and it got the job done, more or less. At the same time, it was finally time to start plastering. In my head I would have done this in August, but here we are, beginning of October, when frosty nights can come at any moment and they could easily mess up the work. Making plaster is pretty easy, but quite labor intensive. I make some smaller batches every day to keep it manageable. Luckily the frosts decided to stay away for a little while and I hurried up to get the first layer done. The right side wall of the cabin was the latest to be built up. Getting the last bales in was a really good feeling. I collected some thicker hazel branches for attaching shelves on the reed bale walls. Pieces of wood are hammered into the walls. From time to time, I collect a batch of carrots, beets and cucumbers from the garden to start some ferments. It's delicious and nutritious. Time for installing the windows.
The format and the way the cabin is designed is with maximum solar gain in mind. The long form and the south facing wall with all the windows ensures that the sun can easily warm up the space. In the winter time especially, when the sun is low in the sky, it will hit the thick reed bale walls with a the plaster. These will act as a thermal mass, soaking up the warmth from the sun and releasing that energy in the room again after the sun is gone. The floor and the roof we have insulated with a 15 cm thick rock wool insulation. Now we're thinking about how we can have more control over the sun in case it gets too warm inside, but that's something for in the future to work on. Thank you very much for watching this video and your lovely comments. I hope to see you soon and wish you much inspiration for the coming cold months. Goodbye!